Hello, hope you guys are doing well. It's Dr. Tolu Ajibadi welcoming you to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the salary expectations of a Nigerian medical officer in the year 2022. So we'll be breaking it down into the nitty gritty of, uh, of uh, the salary expectations of doctors in Nigeria, you know, depending on the cadre or the level of the doctor on the career ladder, okay? So without further ado, let's get in. So the first thing I'd like to get out of the way is that uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I won't be giving you uh, advice in this video on how to manage your finances and all of that. What I'll be focusing on uh, is uh, giving out ballpark figures, like an estimate of what a Nigerian doctor is expected to receive monthly on a monthly basis as salaries are paid on a monthly basis most in most hospitals in Nigeria. This video I feel will be very, very informative and beneficial to young doctors, you know, starting out in their career in Nigeria, even medical students who are planning on practicing in Nigeria once they graduate. So another thing to mention is the term medical officer. Medical officer, as used in this video and used in the, in the healthcare sector of Nigeria, or in the medical sector of Nigeria means a medical doctor trained, licensed, but not under specialty training, you know, not going through specialty training at the time. Uh, you use medical officers for people who are graduate medical school, do their housemanship, that's the internship, and just go into practice either in the private sector or in the government se sector. So these people are not expected to get uh, a certificate of completion of specialty training uh, they don't become consultants but they could also rise in the career ladder so we'll be focusing more on how much uh, medical officer makes because that's where the whole confusion comes about you know because there is no exact uh, in most cases like in the private sector there is no exact skill or salary skill for for these people and it's most times has to be bargain let's get out of the way since we're focusing on medical officers we know that uh, as a last year depending on the facility in which a doctor is uh, doing his or her internship the salary always ranges between one used to range between 150,000 naira and 170,000 naira we've seen people get higher than that some people say in the north it could go as high as 200,000 there about but uh, there was something that happened recently where the federal government uh, kind of centralized the whole housemanship thing placed house officers uh, began to post house officers directly to the to the specific hospital where they are supposed to do their their internship so it wasn't left to you to choose anymore so the decision was now uh, the prerequisite of the of the medical and dental council of Nigeria and with that came a drop in the in the salaries of house officers as of now from the little information i have i cannot say certainly but i told you it's going to be a ballpark figure from the information i have now i believe it has gone a little less than that between the range of 130 to 150 160. now once you finish your house job you get your permanent license that's your full registration and you are to start your career as a, under less supervision as a medical officer. The salary expectation of a medical officer will vary depending on if the person is working in the private sector or in a government hospital or other facilities like HMOs or NGOs. So that would cause a wide range in the, in the salary expectation for medical officers. There's always something that comes to play in Nigeria, which is the choice to either go for the National Youth Service Corps uh, or just get into practice so for those going into the national into nyc hmm, oh boy i will tell you it is not easy i'll tell you nyc is not for the faint-hearted takes a lot of courage to actually go for it in this time and age in 2022 i've heard of several medical doctors medical officers just out of their after hours job just going to private practice and forget about ever being ever being able to practice uh, in the in the in the government sector because you need the nyt to actually practice in the government sector so a lot of doctors just don't do that and just get into private practice why because in nyc you get paid the normal amount every other copper gets paid which is the basic allowance of 33,000 naira 
So every month you're expected to get 33,000 Naira. But there's a caveat to that. Your salary could go higher than that depending on where you are posted. For people posted to government facilities, depending on the state as well. You know, I heard Lagos State pays, I think, between 40,000 to 50,000 Naira additional. So that gets, brings it up to about 70 to 80K. But on the average, most doctors would get a total of around 90,000, 80 to 90,000 Naira during your National Youth Service Corps. So you see, 90K. And uh, it's tough because that's a huge drop in what you were getting just few months before the NYC. So that is always a challenge for most doctors. So let's imagine you are not going into national into the NYC scheme. Uh, what you would be going into is the private sector. Yeah, the private sector, because you can't work in the government hospital yet. So your first year as a doctor in the private sector, uh, earlier, just a few months ago, two, three months ago, it used to be tough tougher than this. Why? Because there's inflation economically in Nigeria, but salaries were just stuck at the same level for years. So most doctors as at 2021 20, used to earn about, in the private sector, about 150. So that's a typical uh, private hospital now. It used to earn about 150 to 170,000 Naira as at 2021. But as at 2022, you are expected to not accept an offer less than 200,000 Naira, okay? And that could go as high as, uh, I've seen people earn up to 250, but the average, I would say from a typical private hospital where you work, uh, where you work Monday to Fridays, eight to five, some people do alternate mornings and nights, so one week morning, one week night, and then alternate weekend. So the weekends are actually a 48 hour stretch. So you work one weekend, you skip the next, you work the next, and you skip the next. So that's the schedule for most private hospitals, which I think is just crazy. I think it's just ridiculous, right? Who started that? Who started that? But anyways, due to the move of a lot of doctors, kudos to Dr. Alloy. You know, there's been this movement to reject offers that are less than 200,000 naira so you're expected to earn you're expected to earn between 200 to 250 as a typical private hospital doctor in your first year your second year what i feel is you're able to bargain better you've gathered more skills you've gathered more uh experience more confidence you've overcome the whole imposter syndrome and you're you're better bargain you, you can actually bargain better you so if you're ready to leave your current job, I feel you could you, you should be expecting a rise in about thirty to fifty thousand naira from your maybe your two hundred k benchmark which you were earning earlier. So, but if you're not ready to leave your current job, I can assure you most likely your salary won't increase and you'll just stay at that. So you should understand that in a typical private hospital, there's additional income you can get uh, just by doing things like uh, surgeries. It, most hospitals will give you. A token on each surgery you do or assist so as a fresh doctor I believe you should be assisting surgeries even if you're not doing the major surgeries so for each surgery you assist a lot of hospitals will give you a percentage which could be between five five thousand to just ten thousand naira and that way you could boost your income is by doing things like uh, no having skills like uh, ultrasound skills that gives you a better uh, a better ground gives you like an edge over other doctors so having the ultrasound skills being able to do basic obstetrics ultrasound or abdominal pelvic ultrasounds that gives you an advantage okay so other procedures that could give you little tokens here and there are things like evacuation of retained product of conception um, things like uh, ear syringing and a couple other things, you know, depending on where you work. So you have to be clear. When you get to a new job, you need to ask them, what's the percentage for each of these procedures? Do you offer that? Another thing that will give you an edge uh, is, uh, have, is having skills like, like I mentioned before, the ultrasound scan skills. Another thing that will give you an edge is having skills as relates to particular 
specialties. For example, in pediatrics, can you do an exchange blood, blood transfusion without supervision? Can you do that? In ONG, do you understand the procedure of IVF, uh, implantation, uh, uh, embryo transfer, all of those? Other skills that could help you, uh, certifications in things like basic life support, uh, acute trauma life support, pediatric life support, things like that. Another thing is HMO experience. Have you worked with, L with HMOs? Uh, do you know how to deal with them, how to handle, how to be diplomatic as working with HMOs? Because I would assure you it takes a lot of diplomacy dealing with the health insurance people. So also working in an HMO company gives you an edge sometimes when you're looking to work in another HMO company. Okay, now let's move to medical officers outside of the regular private hospital sphere. Medical officers that work in oil companies oh boy those people make good money i've seen someone who had about three years four years experience post house manship and he was offered about 450 to about 450 to 500 thousand naira which is a very good deal for in nigeria so it's a very good deal i've seen someone who works with an international ngo earning upwards of 500 600 monthly so that's 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 a range you know of uh, possibilities so you shouldn't limit yourself and say okay the 200 bracket the 200,000 naira bracket is the maximum i can get no you should not settle so those are important tips do not settle do not settle because an employer once told me if i can you if i can get you for free i would appreciate that and jokingly i told him I'm not looking to do a volunteer job right now, okay? So do not settle. If they can get you for free, they will. So why sell yourself cheap? Also, try to gather as much skills as you can. Especially if, you, if you're planning on staying in Nigeria and working in the future, skills help. That's how you really supplement your income in Nigeria. So try to do that. Try to gather as much skills as you can. Um, and if you want to get into residency, maybe some other time we'll talk about how much resident doctors make. Uh, that's people in training, because I heard in your first year, state hospitals pay about 260. In government hospitals, it could go for your junior, for a junior registrar, could, could go as high as 350, 360. Uh, for senior registrars, you get, imagine, an extra 100,000 on top of that. Uh, and then for a consultant i really don't know you know there's this <laughs> i spoke with a consultant once who, who told me he earned six hundred and eighty thousand. so but you know at that stage in your career there are different uh, options you're open to a myriad of options so that so yeah basically that's it for the year 2022 how much a doctor earns in the year 2022 if you found this video beneficial like it share with a friend uh subscribe to the channel yes yeah, subscribe because it's quite important for us to keep doing this uh it's the encouragement we need to keep pushing and bringing out really important information like this so like share subscribe leave a comment in the comment section let's know what you're thinking let's know what you feel about these prizes let's know the kind of videos you want me to do in the near in the nearest future um so yeah it was it was nice talking to you <laughs> See you in the next one.